What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? By the intro, you alone know who this is. I'm definitely in the building, and as you can see, business has picked up, so... Let's go in. Today we're going to talk about a topic. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the Ukraine situation where uh, Putin supposedly says he's withdrawn some troops and they scaled back, if you will, as far as like an imminent attack that may be coming. I'm still saying it might come. I'm not sure, but it just, I think Putin's seeing where how the chips are falling, seeing, I think Putin's seeing who's lining up with who. I think with the situation going on with China and Japan, North Korea and all that, I think Putin's trying to see if he can draw us in who's going to be on his side. But uh, I'm just going to let that's another topic for another day to discuss. But today we're going to talk about, you know, how NATO says, well, what was dropped? We, we're not seeing the shit. Well, NATO's saying they see no evidence of a withdrawal that Putin is saying it's their satellite imagery and their 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 number crunchers and their intelligence isn't shown what Putin is saying. Uh, they're not saying they're not seeing the, the pullback of the Russian pullback. And uh, what's going on now is it's not going to be the United States now, but NATO may do a deployment in like the I think I don't know if I talked about this. They may do a deployment. And like the other satellite countries, the former, the former Soviet satellite countries like Poland, who there, there's Poland's a member of NATO, uh, like Eastern Europeans, like you know the Baltic states, stuff like that. Like these former republics of the Soviet Union, or so not yeah, these, the former republics of the Soviet Union, they see what they're going on in Ukraine, and they're like, hold up, man, they got a taste of Western. Western culture and Western style, and they're like, and Western markets, and they're like, hold up, we like this. We're not, we can't afford to go back to the Soviet style, which what Putin really wants. And like, if you know, and Putin has said it already. I'm not saying anything. This is, I'm not saying anything new. Putin called it one of the greatest geopolitical disasters in in the world in, in lifetime, basically. When he called it the, the greatest geopolitical disaster was the break of the Soviet Union, which to him, like, you got to understand from his standpoint, he was a loyal and dedicated KGB agent stationed in Eastern Germany. So he's seen it firsthand, so, but like I said, NATO isn't seeing what he's saying he's seeing. Like, they're saying, uh, you know, Putin has them withdrawn, you know, and now, like I said, they're talking, Poland is welcoming, Poland is literally welcoming troops to come to stay in Poland. You know, like I said, other satellite countries or, or ex-satellite countries of uh, the former Soviet Republic were welcoming. So, like I said, they don't want to go back to what was. Like I said, the situation in Ukraine and Eastern Ukraine, like Crimea, that's because we figure a majority of that population was Russian. And if the majority of the population is Russian and they vote to go to Russia, I mean, I understand where Ukraine was coming from, but still at the end of the day, I mean, you, 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 have, you just have to, you have to bite the bullet in Ukraine. I mean, I understand you may not want to, I understand you don't want your country to you know, fall apart, but you may have to bite the bullet. But uh, NATO, like I said, NATO is just chilling out right now and doing their thing. And they're waiting on Putin to see, but like I said, a majority of this is going to re rely on Putin in his next move. So, so far he says he's scaled back, and so far he's shown he's scaling back. But if you, if you, if you watch Russian television like I do, they're like it's translated, I mean, I know it's a mess of translation, but what they're doing over there in Russia, like if in Moscow, they, they had a, they had a big celebration for a victory over over Europe and over Germany, it's called, I think, Victory Day, I forget, we gotta look this up, it was, this was recent, so right now he's, he's shown his military might, now I don't know if he's just shown his military might just to show it, or if he's shown his military might for, like, future reference for us to know what they, this is what we have, fuckos, you know, we really want, 
you really want some, come get some. So, I just want to make this little quick video and show how I was going. So, just stay tuned because, like I said, the main thing is watch Putin. And like I, I'm going to tell you, like I said before, and if you've seen it before, you saw it and, and I talked about it. To get to Putin, you got to enforce economic sanctions harder on Putin and, and realistically you got to force it on the oligarchs in Russia because the oligarchs, the oligarchy supports Putin right now and that's his backbone. If you hit Putin in his backbone like, you just, like you've been doing, you see what the result is, Putin's scaling back. Even Putin can't weather, uh, weather a storm like that. So we got to stay tuned because this is going to be real fun to watch. So all right, peace.